Let's take a look at how to read a JSON file. Although JSON isn't typically in file format, you could still read a JSON file in links. To do this, we're going to use a combination of the text file read component available in the file plugin, along with the JSON reader component in the JSON plugin. With our text file read component, we're going to read the complete file. And with the JSON reader component, we're going to use the text file read string as our JSON string. You could add a custom property map if you needed to. You need to set the output type in order to make it a little bit more manageable. To do this, I'm going to change it to list and then set it to a custom type that I created called product. This is what product looks like. So now our JSON reader will return a list of products. When running the application in debug mode, we can see what the data will look like in runtime. You can insert this data into a database, host it on an API, put it into a file, whatever you need. But in order to access it, we will have to loop through the list. To do this, I'm going to use a for each component. And then simply select the JSON reader as my list. Then for each data item, we can choose whatever we need to do with it. For example, you can use the execute SQL component in the database plugin to insert this data into a database. To learn more, go to links.software.